This is Godliness with Contentment, episode 21. Well, my name is Keno Hanna, and I'm here to have a conversation about how to win with money from the Bible's perspective. To stay out of any legal trouble, I must say that the contents of this podcast are informational in nature. If you need professional advice, please consult your lawyer, financial advisor, or accountant. I believe that it is possible for Christians, believers, to reach financial independence. Our scripture for the day is Matthew 6 and 24. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. So here, Jesus tells the crowd that they can only serve one master at a time. Either you can serve God, or you can serve money, but not both. You cannot have one foot in God and the other foot serving money. It may be strange to think that people can serve money or that you can serve money. How do we serve money or any master? Well, I think one of the big things here is that you serve who you love. If you love God, you will serve him by worshiping him, by obeying him. If you love money, you will serve it by worshiping it and doing what money wants you to do. Serving money also means that money becomes the most important part of your life. When we serve God, he becomes the most important part of our life. So right now, ask yourself, who or what is the most important being or thing in my life? The answer should come back, God, absolutely, 110%. Any other answer means that God is not top priority and you are not serving him the way he ought to be served, which is with all. What if the answer that comes back is money. It means that money is worshipped by you and you will do anything for money. I talk about money and I talk about how to win with money from the Bible's point of view. The first thing is that God must be number one. Money should never be number one. In fact, money should be way down there somewhere, right? There's so many other, um, well, there's really people, right? There's, there's God, there's, there's family, there's so many others that come in and money's way down the line. In fact, I talked about before, money is really a tool, right? More than anything else. It must be used the way God's word tells us to use it not the way we see people in the world use it and how they clamor after it. You know, I've even heard, and you probably heard this too, this phrase, get money or get rich or die trying. That means that money is being worshipped and served and it's being obeyed by those who has that slogan. Money is a tool. Think about it. It's paper. Or even if you say, you know, it's gold, it's silver, right? Maybe you say, hey, I'm talking about God's money here, right? Which is gold or silver. Nevertheless, it is not to be worshipped. But rather, it is to be used the way God says. So our goal should be finding out how to use this tool how to use money in the right way and not getting sucked into loving it and obeying it and serving it and worshiping it. The best place I know for finding out how to use money is in the pages of the Bible. It's there. Just look for it. 
feel free to reach out to me if you need some help looking. I had to look for myself, and I'm eager to help others to find what I have found with less effort, right? That's all I have for you today. I hope you join me for my next episode along with your friends and family. Please let others know how to find it and get the help they need as well. They can search for me, Google, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, TuneIn. Tell them to look for godliness with contentment. This is Kino Hana signing off. Check you later.